Okay, in this video, we're going to add some scores onto our game. So, as in the previous ones, I'm going to go to Load World, click on Test World, click on Edit. You can see we're still set at this uh, original starting position as in the previous one. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to change it so we can have a score, but also so that the cycle can have a score as well. So, we're going to go into the Change World settings. I'm going to scroll down. You can turn th lots of things off and on here. You can change the sky if you want. You can change the lighting of day and night. These aren't things I'm particularly interested in right at the moment. So we're going to go past all of this. And what we're looking for is something called score persistence. There we go, score visibility. There we go, score persistence is what I'm looking for. So I want two scores to always be showing on the screen. So I'm going to have black as one of them, and I'm going to have red as one of them. So those two will constantly show on the screen. If I press escape and I press play, you'll see hopefully in a second that those will show. But first of all, we need to apply something to them. Once we've done that, we need to program our character so actually can gain a score. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to program. So when he bumps an apple, he eats the apple. But what happens when he bumps the apple, we also want him to gain a score. So we're going to say when he bumps an object and it's the apple, we want the gain to not set a score, because I'll set it once, but to increase the score. And we've set it to consistently show the red and the black. So we're going to say set the black score and we should be getting ah, points. Just want one point on this one. Okay, so I press escape and I press play. And I zoom right in. You'll see now if I go across to the apples, I get one of them, hopefully. I get one point. And because I've set the score persistence on, you can see that's now uh, staying there. When I touch the apple, it briefly flashes up on the screen. That's the one that's showing up. But the score persistence means it stays there. Now I want to do the same thing here for the cycle. So we're going to go across to the cycle. We're going to click on the object tool again. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go to program. And it's going to be exactly the same thing we did before. So it's going to be bumped, the apple. What do I want him to do? We want the game. We want it to add a score. We want to be the red score. And we want to set the points as increasing by one. So we're going to press escape on this one. And this time I'm going to press play. Just like before, if he gets one, hopefully he will in a second. I'm doing very well at the moment, I'm not sure why it keeps uh, getting stuck. So again, we're gaining some points here. And if that scooter bike ever stops just trying to drive into there, then he should also gain some points. Let's see if I can help him by uh, eating that apple he seems to be chasing. Just move that bike to a different location. Go to object, let's pull that bike across. Let's press play again because clearly it's not working very well there. We're going to zoom in. It's interesting, once again, that bike's not moving. Let's have a look at the coding on this bike. So he sees the apple to move towards it slowly. If he bumps the apple, he eats it. And if he bumps the apple, he scores zero points. So this should be moving. There we go. Now he's getting some points. In fact, he's doing rather better than me. I wish I hadn't helped him now.
Okay, and you can see how this is now working. I've got two points, he's got five points. There may be some apples left, but there aren't many. And we can now work out potentially who's won that. But there's no end on this game and there's no health. So let's have a look at how we add those in the next video. Again, I'm just going to, for now, go to Save My World. I'm going to save it. Save. Go back to here and exit to the main menu.